Many of us like to holiday in Port Stephens, as it's such a beautiful spot. It seems like juvenile great white sharks might feel the same way. CSIRO research shows many white sharks aged one to five years migrate between points as far south as Tasmania and north to tropical Queensland, but spend significant amounts of time in Port Stephens. Some might ask, how could researchers possibly know this? As the Port Stephens area is one of only two known white shark nurseries in Eastern Australia, it provides an exciting and unique opportunity for marine biologists to undertake research. The white shark is a protected species and is threatened due to a decline in numbers from historical threats such as fishing. The research being done in Port Stephens adds to our understanding of the biology, movements and genetics of white sharks, while also helping this fascinating animal to recover. The Hunter Central Rivers Catchment Management Authority, CMA, is working in partnership with CSIRO, Department of Primary Industries and the University of Technology, Sydney, to attach tracking devices and conduct aerial surveys between Newcastle and Seal Rocks. These projects are working together with the aerial surveys, counting the number of sharks in the nursery area at different times of the year, and the tagging program allowing scientists to track shark movements over several years. Before scientists can track a shark, they must be caught and tags inserted or attached. The sharks are spotted close to shore by observers on DPI vessels and researchers use a baited line to catch the sharks. Sharks that are caught are pulled onto a stretcher on the side of the boat where staff and researchers are on hand to undertake the tagging. Acoustic tags about the size of a whiteboard marker are inserted into the shark using a small surgical procedure. Signals from the acoustic tag are picked up by listening stations placed on the seabed around Australia and other countries around the world. Satellite tags are attached to the outside of the shark on the dorsal fin and have an aerial that sends a signal to satellites in space when the shark comes to the surface. Aerial surveys are conducted from the air using helicopters. Researchers record sightings of the great white shark onto data sheets. Professor Bill Gladstone, head of environmental science from University of Technology, Sydney, has been supervising the aerial surveys since 2010. The research has revealed two really important and interesting things about the juvenile great white sharks in this area. The first is that we see most sharks in late November. That's when the greatest number are there. We've recorded them throughout the year in very low numbers, but the greatest number is in late November. The second thing that we've found is that they prefer to be in the surf zone. That's their preferred habitat, is where they're actually where the waves are breaking in water of one to two metres depth. And you can actually see them swimming there and the waves breaking on top of them. The sort of research that's needed in the future is for us to continue these surveys for as long as possible. Because what we're doing is establishing a baseline of information about the numbers of juvenile great white sharks at the moment. And if we want to be able to determine whether their numbers are increasing through conservation, we need to continue this monitoring a long time into the future to see whether the numbers of juveniles are increasing. The second thing we need to do is to really validate our estimates of the length of the sharks and to be able to confirm how accurate we are in our estimates of their length. A combination of aerial surveys and tagging devices are used to provide both the researchers and the community with valuable information about the movement of these immense creatures through our local waters. This research will help us to work out just how many of these sharks like to call these beaches home and may also help us understand why the Port Stephens area is so important for this protected species.